friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need boiled potatoes or ubale hue aloo this is chopped onion or pyaaz this is stemmed water that means imli ki pani this is boiled chickpeas that means kala chana boiled this is kashmiri red chili powder this is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder this is black salt or kala namak this is chaat masala powder this is green chili or hari mirchi and chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves we have boiled potatoes or ubale hue aloo now add chopped onion or pyaaz add this is boiled chickpeas that means boiled kala chana add 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder 1 teaspoon of this is bhuna hua jeera powder that means roasted cumin powder little bit of black salt or kala namak little bit of chaat masala powder and 2 tablespoon of this is imli ki pani that means tamarind water now mix it very gently at the end add green chili or hari mirchi and chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves mix it again and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need potatoes or aloo i just cut them into round shape this is carrot or gajar this is khaskhas that means posto or poppy seeds this is lemon or nimbu and chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves This is haldi powder or turmeric powder. This is Kashmiri red chili powder. This is garam masala powder. This is chaat masala powder. And this is hee or asafoetida. Our oil is nicely heated up. So add one dollop of butter or makkhan. Let it melt. Now add the chopped potatoes or aloo. And carrot that means gajar. Mix it. Add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder. add 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder mix it nicely and let them fry for a while they have been fried for 5 to 6 minutes now so in this stage add 
1 teaspoon of this is garam masala powder salt to taste or namak this is hing or asafoetida around 1 teaspoon and khaskhas that means posto or poppy seeds Mix it again. And let them fry again. They have been cooking for another 7 to 8 minutes now. So it is almost done. So this stage. Add little bit of chaat masala powder. Add chopped dhaniya patta that means chopped coriander leaves and squeeze a lemon or nimbu mix it very gently and you are done stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel